Okay, this is a very quick demonstration of how to import an object into Second Life once you've created it. I guess just go to the build menu as we've got here. Select model. And we have one component of the salon project, which is the reception desk. That is a version 1.4 Collada file. Now you have to use version 1.4 because Second Life won't recognize any other version. So we just select that, open. Right, here we have the main import window. As you can see, there's model. Let's turn on textures so you can see what it will look like in the world. And just a bit of rotation. Shadows are applied. That's looking pretty good. As the author, I would say that, but anyway. <laughs> um, right, we have the main input window here, which tells you how large or the sort of the server load that the object will create. I tend to use medium and low. Um, use the high as the high setting for both medium and low, and the lowest um, is generated automatically. Just because I'm a bit fussy that way. Uh, generate normals, that adds a bit of uh, depth to the object. Um, right, no, we have to tell it what sort of thing it is. So it's a building component. Uh, salon reception, just so you know what it is. Uh, okay, physics. Here we've got a few options. We can tell it high, medium, low, lowest, or from file, which is basically another collider file. Um, which defines a simple block that will define the shape of the um, object in the world so that when an avatar comes along it will run into it and not be able to go over it in a proper fashion if it, as if it was a real thing, a real object. In this case it's fairly simple so we'll just let um, Second Life do that for us. Don't really have to do these set other steps as I've discovered. Um, we'll just set that there. And you can see that defines the physical shape of the object. Uh, step three, you can do that one. I find it doesn't make much difference. Uh, okay, upload options we have here. If we include textures so that it will automatically upload the texture map that's been applied to the object as it is. Avatar models, doesn't really matter in this case, so we'll just leave that there. Calculate weights and fees. Um, so we're ready to do. Press that. This is a local database, so there's no fee. Uh, upload. And there it is in our inventory. So we'll just drag it across. And close the texture. Give it a little bit of while to think about it. And that's basically it. Um, you can then fool around with the um, different features. This is a complex hole. It's a texture. You can turn that into a light. Why you'd want to do that, I don't know, but anyway. Um, and that is just the basic process of importing.